okay guys so we are going to talk about the DHCP DORA process like how the DHCP server is going to provide you the services uh, the automatic services and how the PC can request for the IP address to this DHCP server right so this process is called DHCP DORA process right what is DORA DORA is this uh, these are the types of messages that is um, between the provide uh, between the requesting for the IP address to uh, from the PC and to provide the automatic IP address by using the DHCP server these process uh, with following these process we are going to talk about right so the first number of the process that is going to discuss that and uh, that is we are going to discuss it discover message right so first of all what is the DHCP if we talk about basically we have um, we have two kinds of things to provide the automatic IP address to the clients what are the things let me just tell you and let me explain you uh, the option where you will get these options right so over here once you are going to assign the, some IP address to your PCs or to your laptops so you have to go over there and then there you will uh, find it out the opt-in and IP address automatically right so with following this step uh, this automatically automatically IP address is going to provide it by the DHCP right so the DHCP server must must be enabled in uh, or must be connected with your normal PC then you can get the automatic IP address to the PC right now let's talk about the first one that is DHCP discover message right so the computer will send a DHCP discover message right whose computer that always your PC or the host always always host will be sent the DHCP discover message right in this broadcast uh, because it, it's a, this is a broadcast right because of it doesn't have any IP address and it doesn't know uh, if there is a DHCP server on the network or not right so what is the use of this discover message to know the to know the DHCP server or to find the DHCP server inside the local network inside LAN network right so this is the use of DHCP discover message right why it is going to broadcast because of uh, see we have the two kinds of broadcast address that is 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 or 255.255.255.255 right we use this 0.0.0, .0, .0 to uh, make the different uh, make the communication from the different different network we use this kind of um, this network right this broadcast network right so where we use these network now over here to providing or while providing the DHCP uh, automatically IP address to the clients we are going to use these these IP address as a broadcast address right so these things this here is uh, talking about right so um, this is a broadcast address because of it don't have any IP address or it doesn't know that if there's a DHCP server on the network or not of course as our scenario uh, like we do the DHCP server to find it out like uh, it's it's a responding or not like the how, how we can respond with using the broadcast address right now it will receive that address like uh, whatever the address it is it is getting it from the client this will check that okay I am getting the request that is kind of IP address request and where it is coming from this is coming from the host right so after that what DHCP server is going to do that this is going to generate the offer message for this client now inside the offer message what are the things is going to add that 
the dhcp server will respond with a dhcp offer message with content and ip address from the computer we have to configure the dhcp server to identify to define which ip address we want to give right we want uh, uh, if if we want we can also assign a default gateway and the dns server as well it depends upon the our requirement right now what kind of uh, the things or what kind of the um, the address that we are going to assign that now let me just explain you so here is your pc right and here is your dhcp server right now first of all this pc is going to request for this discover message right so inside the discover message what uh, like why it is going to generate this discover message to find out or to request for the for ip address right and also it is also going to uh, generate this discover message to find out the dhcp server in the lan network right now after that what is going to do the dhcp server is going to send the ip address range because of we have to set the some kind of ip address range over there it depends upon your requirement right such as if you want to add or uh, if you want to assign some ip address over there let me just do that 168 10.12 we can give the any number of the range of the ip address that is we require right 192.168.10. suppose the 20 so between 1 to 20 we are going to provide the ip addresses right so how many users that we can create it over there number of user that is 20 or the 19 right 19 <coughs> so we can uh, like the 19 user can uh, like we can we can provide the automatic ip address to the 19 users right now inside this offer message inside this offer message it is going to generate or it is going to send these ip address information right now after that what it is talking talking about now uh, after sending these ip addresses what this will do this pc will receive this offer message right this will uh, receive this offer message and this is going to receive the discover message right once this pc will receive the offer message then after that what it is going to do that this is going to request uh, this is going to send the request message after that right now what is the request message uh, over there it is going to send that the computer will be sent a dhcp request in response to the dhcp offer message right means whatever the offer message that dhcp server is generated so uh, means this pc is going to give the reply for this offer message and inside this reply it is going to ask that okay means um whatever the information that you you just sent it over there i just received that right and then i'm i'm going to send that okay um dhcp uh, okay i'm i'm getting this ip address and now i'm going to request i'm going to request to make you or uh to to give you the acknowledgement like um i just i just accepted that ip address which is you offered me right means whatever the dhcp server is provide or the off uh, just offered these ip addresses this pc choose the some ip address within this range right suppose that this pc choose the automatic ip address that is 192.168.10. suppose that 12 right so this pc choose the ip address of this ip address now after that after after um, taking the ip address what is this going to do that this is going to generate the request message right 
inside the request message what it is going to say uh, what what this pc is going to say that whatever the offer uh, whatever the ip address that you offered me i just accepted that ip address now i'm going to make the connection with you right means if in case if i lost the connectivity or uh, again i make the connectivity so please provide me the ip addresses right so this is going to request for this particular uh, particular connection then the dhcp server is going to give the acknowledgement right now inside this acknowledgement what it is going to do that the dhcp server will respond with the dhcp acknowledgement message to tell the computer it's okay to use this information right now you have an idea what dhcp is like right means now you are connected in a lan network so now we can send any data we can receive any data or we can provide any kind of facilities that you want inside the lan network right so this was all about the dhcp server and this dhcp automatically ip address providing we will do one thing we will also do the practic uh, practicals on that right <laughs> like means how we can how we can um, do the practice or how we can assign the ip addresses over there now let me tell you one thing see this is our the dhcp discover message offer message and request and acknowledge right now over there what is the protocol that is going to use it between the server and the users that is dhcp protocol right now always this uh, this process is going to be happen on the uh, uh, is going to be happen on the this broadcast address only right as i have discussed that as we have discussed all the packets is going to send over on this broadcast address only right because of within uh, means with uh, to provide the ip address to this automatically ip address to this pc we don't know that what is the destination right whatever the destination whatever the source we have i know that we are directly connected with it but i do not have any idea about like what is the destination ip address that where we have to send these messages or where we have to send these uh, these kind of acknowledgements right so in this case we are going to send the by default broadcast address to the destination right and the source address would be anything right now the first packet this is going to be sent it by the users right but the source is 0.0.0, .0 because of this this user do not have any ip address right that's why it is going to request for this ip address so inside this source if this user is going to generate that i do not have any ip address right means i'm 0.0.0, .0 and where i have to send it i'm going to send it as a, as a broadcast right but i'm using the dhcp protocol to make the connectivity or to um to to just request for the some ip address to the dhcps right now after that this dhcp server will receive that and then it will generate the dhcp offer message right inside this dhcp offer message this dhcp server does have the ip address right because of this is the server so always the server have the ip address because of this is totally responsible to provide the ip address if do not have the ip address to this dhcp server so we cannot use this dhcp protocol over here right now inside the source this dhcp server is going to send the ip address inside the source right but inside the destination it is also it uh, this dhcp server is all also don't know that uh, whatever the packet I'm, I'm getting it which is coming from this user that user do not have any ip address right means where i have to send <laughs> this offer message we have to send as a broadcast right so this will send is a uh, in the destination address as a broadcast and then this <laughs> this pc will receive the address and then 
it will check that okay i got this address now i'm going to make the connect connectivity between the user and the dhcp server so again this will send these kind of request message to this dhcp server and then dhcp server will give the acknowledgement of it right so these are the total following step that is we have okay <coughs> Let me tell you one more thing over there. Now the first option, uh, see, this is our discover message, right? So inside the discover message, what kind of, like how we can recognize that this is a discover message. So inside the source port, we have the 68, right? And the destination port would be the 67, means 68 always used for the PC side, right? like you can say the you can say the 68 is used to sender and 67 is used by the receiver right <coughs> as you can also see that over there the source port will be 68 and the destination port would be 67 right means who is going to use this 67 this dhcp server right and this dhcp client right so these are the things that is we have related to this right after that these are uh, the, the the changes is going to be happen inside the source ip address and the destination ip address right everything would be the same uh, just for this messages to provide you the connectivity from source to destination right now let me talk about the DHCP client identifier and the relay agent okay guys so these are the some following steps that is we have to do some configuration over on the DHCP server and the client right so over here uh, with following this step we are going to configure the DHCP configuration and to provide the automatically IP address to the clients right these have all all kind of um, all kind of uh, these commands that is we required over there right so we are going to do that practicals and for this practicals we are uh, we, will, we will make the some kind of new videos for that right and I will tell you that how to configure these things and what are the information that we require to configure DHCP server over there, right? So we are going to use this scenario, okay? Or we can take the only two devices over there or between the two devices we are going to use these things, right? Okay guys, so this was all about the DHCP and we will do the some configuration regarding the DHCP later. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, 